welcome back. So today, um, I see that there is a bullet tournament coming up. In fact, let's go take a look at it. We see it's right over here on the schedule. Uh, starting 56 minutes from now, the Elite Bullet Arena. I'm kind of surprised they didn't come up with like a way to merge together these two words, but sure. Um, anyhow, we'll see if I can qualify for it. Uh, to participate, I've got to get my rating up to 2100. I used to be 2100, so this can't be too difficult. In fact, let's see, is there a bullet tournament going on at the moment? Because that's probably the easiest... Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'll work. Nice. Stand by. Pairing. Get ready. Here we go. Just have to get back up to 2100 and then, then we'll be able to play in the Elite Bullet Arena. Okay, just take the knight. Go back here. Castle. Um, that's a bit aggressive on White's part. So I'm threatening to snap that. Um, white chooses not to cooperate with my plan. Okay, I'm going to actually plunk the knight here on d4, or bishop on d4, because it's pretty strong on that square. Um, so this is actually loose now. Uh, yeah, let's take it. I gotta say, I definitely appreciate the larger clock size that they pushed out in one of their updates. So it looks really nice. Okay, I'll just drop back here. If that's how it's gonna be, that's how it's gonna be. Sure, you can take one of those. Rookie one, I just take the rook, take the pawn, take the pawn, take that. Oh, I'm checking him, so I have time to play this. Um, hang on. There we go. Ah, this is not a new chess opening. This is me making a neologism out of elite and bullet. Um, so, we're, oh, I forgot the other thing I was gonna do I was gonna put the uh, language setting on elite. You know, cause uh, there's the whole elite bullet arena thing coming up um, not too long from now. So I'm just trying to get my rating up to 2100 to qualify for it again. Uh, just because it could be a silly event to participate in, so why not? I was hanging this pawn. He didn't take it. Um, he takes that pawn. Protect all the things. Go attack the bishop. Step into the pin, drop back. The key point here is that I'm just giving um, black things to think about. Okay, he's actually attempting to make progress and playing good moves, which is, oh no, it's challenging. There we go. Oh, is he actually going to take that? So we're going to have a real end game here. 
I was bluffing there. That was completely, totally, entirely a bluff. Uh, it should not have worked. Okay, that's not working for me, is it? Okay, we'll see if I can win this. Probably not. Yep, this is definitely not looking so good for the home team. Uh, let's just go over here. Yeah, and he takes a second just to make sure he's not messing it up. Okay, well, we'll just say that that's a warm-up game. I'm not actually trying to win this tournament, I'm just trying to get back up to 2100. In hindsight, playing in this tournament's probably not the best way to do that. Um, yeah, that backfired pretty heavily. Whatever. That's what happens when I'm trying to entertain an audience and have fun. And Okay, so he's going to castle queenside. Or I just take his queen, you know. That wasn't a bluff to take the queen. I actually took it. Yeah, but often you can just rattle your opponent, and that's enough um, to decide the game. Knight c3. Knight c3. Knight to c3. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay, fine. We'll take this. He did find a way to protect the a2 pawn. Gotta give him credit for that. Okay, I'll take one of those, one of these. There we go. See, part of the art of just doing well in these events, um, is, or finishing the games quickly, is just demoralizing your opponent. So when I played Rook Takes Knight, obviously Rook Takes Knight's not the strongest move in the position. Hang on. Okay. That's cool. Um, yeah, I got bluffed there. That sucks. Oops, there goes my queen. Whatever. I was so fixated on that knight f3 fork that he completely whiffed on. Um, which, oh well. I'm sure I'll wake up sooner or later here. Okay, let's just play something that doesn't hang material right out of the opening. There we go, take one of those. Um, that's interesting. Oh, he takes f7. Or he takes there. Okay. <laughs> maybe I'm not so good at this. Or maybe just these tournaments bring out players who are just more competitive um, than expected. Well, there goes my king. Okay. Run, king, run. You can do it. King's perfectly safe here. There's nothing to worry about. I uh, can't eject the knight that way. Oh, he moved his king. Well, that was unexpected. Okay. I'm forced to play this. Oh, I don't have king takes knight. This could end poorly. Now I've got king takes knight. Now I don't. Okay. Hey look, we've solidified this ish.
Hang it. Just keep moving the king. Well, that was close. That was much too close, um, considering the rating gap. So I think what that's saying is that I'm not going to qualify for the upcoming bullet tournament. And perhaps I'm perfectly fine with that, because playing in that would be heck anyway. Um, so, subtle threats. Uh, I can't actually profit from this, so I'm just going to exchange right away. I've connected my rooks and developed my pieces, and then we're just going to put the bishop back on c1. And develop the pieces through h2 if we have to. The key is just to give black tons of things to think about. It's not that all of this has to be winning by force, it's just that eventually black is going to slip up. Um, and so I have to be ready to take advantage of whenever that happens. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't open uh, the H file. Okay, let's... okay, that's not good. This is not good. You know, probably be even better, I don't know, acceptable if I would just not hang all my pieces. Um, yeah, I couldn't save that. Wow, that was fantastic. Um, I totally deserved that. Okay, well obviously I'm out of the loop on the bullet stuff. I haven't been playing enough of it lately. Um, oops, that was intended to be knight c3, not pawn c3. Um, okay, we'll protect the pawn. He pins my knight, I pin his knight. So, I'm sure eventually I'll get the hang of it. Um, the thing is, I'm playing much, much, much too fast and just hanging pieces left and right. There's a pawn. I'm used to my opponents playing moves that make sense. Um, and so just seeing these random moves is kind of confusing me too. Um, but you know, we just have to make do with what we see and what we have. Okay, protect the square. If he takes there, I made him. Oh, I should have played knight g5. Okay, well, I'll open the rank here and just mate the king. There's nothing that can stop these doubled rooks. So yeah, it's just knight h7 and rook g8 and 8. Or rook f7. Um, even more direct or more obvious to the opponent, so it forces him to move faster. Yeah, I definitely styled up my use of that site. Um, here you can find my user style. Oh, we got player going berserk, eh? Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Finish developing. Yeah, I did drop a pawn. Whatever. What can you do? Um. Oh, that's clever. Oh, 
Okay, I'm losing this on time and on the position. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, this is great. Oops, I lost on time. Oh well, I don't play 30 second chests, and that guy was playing pretty well anyhow. So, yeah, it looks like I'm not going to get to 2100. It looks like playing in the upcoming Elite Bullet Arena coming up in about a half hour from now is probably not going to happen. Um... Okay, are we going to see bishop g5 or not? Nor should we, but... Uh... Oh, I forgot. He's got that reasonable looking move there. For a minute there, I was getting optimistic that I was going to crunch a 2200. And it was just going to be like a slaughter. Um, it's not going to be so simple. I shouldn't move my king there. That's unwise. Okay. Let's bring the other knight over here. Um, I'm not seeing his threat. I have to stop his rook from invading. Cover all my bases. And then kick the knight. Okay, he takes back. I guard all my stuff. Um, be unwise for me to open that side. This is kind of an interesting game, actually. Uh, I'll take that. Okay, he does queen takes. Half expecting rook takes there. Oops, okay. Yeah, I'm lost. Whatever. Yeah, nobody knows when the next one's gonna happen. Um, but it sure as heck looks like I'm not gonna get to qualify for this one. <laughs> Which is totally fine, because usually I play Blitz anyhow. I usually don't play Bullet. Um, I mean, sure, I could put up kind of a fun game playing Bullet. Uh, and everybody who does chess on the internet and streams it for an audience does Bullet. And it's the most ridiculous thing ever. Um, but, um, I don't know, I was just kind of attempting it on a whim. And so it's totally okay with me if this experiment fails. Oh, that's mate! Oh, I was expecting rook f5. Well played. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I mean, we got a half hour. I just have to make up... Um, wait, I'm at... I'm below 2,000 now, so I just have to make up like 111 points. My rating's trending in the wrong direction, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know who's actually going to be playing in the event, and part of the reason I did try to like qualify for this thing is because I think 2100 is a pretty high cutoff, and I don't think a lot of people are actually going to qualify. Also, I think even those who do qualify probably aren't going to play in the event. So that's kind of why I was, I don't know, trying to make my way into it. Um, because I just want to see, like, if this event can be successful in the future or not. Uh, okay, we'll go back. Sure, I'll trade with you. Why not? We're going to see, yep. I was going to play g3 to preempt that if possible, but didn't have the tempo for it. Now we protect all the pawns. And now we win the Rook Endgame. Aren't Rook Endgames fun? Oh, I forgot about the pawn. Whatever. 
Okay, fine. This is winning. Okay, he goes over there. I push over here. Check. There we go. So, I've almost made it back to 2000. Um, kind of used to being in the over 2000 clubs. This is kind of weird. That's okay. Oh, he's playing my opening. Oh, not for long. For a minute there, I thought we were going to have a fun theoretical battle. And then I remember this is Bullet, and nobody knows this theory anyway. Um, so yeah, he strikes my knight, and I just run somewhere. Just develop all my pieces, take all his stuff, keep taking stuff. He hits my queen. He attacks my queen, I drop back to an innocent square where I'm not threatening anything at all. Uh, just Oh, this is defended. Uh, bummer. Okay, at least I spooked him into playing that move. Let's see, that's what matters in bullet. It's not accurate calculation, but just coming up with devious ideas. Hey look, a queen. Oh, that was pretty nice. Rook f7? Okay. He didn't play it. Okay. Here we go. Getting back to 2000. Whether or not this opponent moves, I have some opportunity to get raining points. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play that opening twice in a row. That It just feels... It's odd to see somebody playing bishop c4 against me, because I'm the one who booked up on all that stuff. Like, that's the stuff I used to play um, pretty much as my repertoire until I hit, I don't know, 1800. Um, okay, so just drop back. Oh, gotta take here, gotta take here, rather. And then he's gonna make a threat there. And thankfully I've defended this, so... Okay, never mind. He's not making any threats. Works for me. Free pawn? Okay, I can't take it yet. Free pawn? Still can't take it yet. Now the free pawn? Yeah, free pawn! Okay. I was a little bit too eager to take the free pawn, but... You know, pretty happy with this end game. Plays rook a7, I just keep pushing. He trades rooks, I have to take back, but... This is possibly not a good endgame for white. Uh, take here, and then don't get back rank mated. And then just win the two pawn up rook endgame. Easy peasy. Check. Okay, I have to actually defend at least one of these. I can't drop both of them, because then this gets difficult. Uh, so we dance back and forth for a few turns, and then go back this way. Actually, objectively, he's secured a draw here, but... He doesn't have time for it. 45th place. Well done, me. Alright, but yeah, the goal... My goal is to try to qualify for this thing. So... Wait, what's the next tournament coming up? Is that... Okay, that's still a normal bullet tournament. 
but it hasn't started yet. So if there's a 1-0 seek out there, I should take it. Rated. Sure, let's put this up to like 1900. Man, I remember how I take like a minute or two or three to get a seek out there, or for somebody to accept my seek for um, for three two. It takes like minutes to find that, but put a bullet seek out there in the lobby, and instantaneously it's grabbed. That's pretty funny. I'm now understanding kind of just like why people play bullet all the time. This is just so convenient and so addicting. Okay, bluff him. Ah, he took it. Okay, so we have kind of a difficult rook endgame ahead. Um, if he didn't take that, I would have had a really nice rook endgame. Um, but since he did, I have a more challenging one ahead. Uh, okay, I got it. Ooh, okay, I kind of walked into that. I was trying to open the B file, and that's a reasonable endeavor, but um, there's no way to protect my pawns. Uh, take here. I have to drop back, and then... Okay, he found the good move. He's going to play rook g5. Oh, even better for him. Uh, well played. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I think he's got me. Well done. Okay. Yeah, I should play less bluffing moves and try to play better shuffling. Um, it's just shuffling is so dull and boring. I don't know how people manage to just do that for fun. It's all about the bluffing. It really is. Um, okay, just kick the piece, kick the piece. Take the square. Uh, this is protected, so I can afford to do this. Still hitting the square. Um, uh, at least I got h5 covered. Okay, I completely missed that I was dropping that. Which, that's not so good. Alright, get used to getting ground down in an endgame. Assuming he's got the technique for it. He missed it. Okay, just wait for a tactic to crop up, because knights breed tactics everywhere. Um, so just wait for a knight fork to just show up somewhere unexpectedly. Fine, we'll do it this way. Uh, bishop d5, I play c6. Okay, this is actually forced there. Uh, free pawn. Oh, I could have taken that. My bad. So the key here is that I direct my king back there, and then over here, and stop his pawn, and then manage to promote in the center. I think. Something like that. This is how you get out of book, by the way. Play some reasonable, uh, although kind of funny moves. Um, so take that. Okay, threaten mate. So now I've got the bishop. Um, he's got a pawn, and he's completely winning this endgame. Man, I'm getting ground down in endgames. What's going on? I'm supposed to be the one doing the grinding. What gives? Uh, okay. Oh, this is weak. That's not good. Yeah, we'll just concede that. Alright, so... Whoops. I probably shouldn't pre-move that. I thought black was moving first. 
That's what state I'm in at the moment. And besides, even with that kind of handicap, you saw me pushing around the 2200 there. Um, so... Uh-oh. Wait, no, this is fine. I played that because I've played this move before in so many games. And then, yeah, you just play the knight back. And black's A-OK. -okay. Problem is, um, black doesn't have much in the way of good maneuvering here. Like, he's really tied down. Okay, we'll take this. I still have to find a better move for that position than taking c3. I think just better is, um, well, I'm speaking and playing here. Let me not, let me find some good moves and then go back to the talking thing. Okay, so he's going to play rook here or not. Oh, I forgot that I don't have rook d6. Okay, we've got to get luft. Hit this, because he can't defend it. Oh, he can defend it. All right. Go around this way. Oops, I completely forgot. Well, I'm getting mated here if he finds it. There's nothing I can do um, otherwise. Oops, okay, this is not so good. Move, mouse, move. Okay, that was exciting. Um, yeah, talking and playing at the same time doesn't work so well, does it? <laughs> uh, we got him. Oh yeah, no, he had mate there. He missed it many, many times. Um, I'm still playing with my mouse that likes to double click instead of clicking, and you can see that it's moving all over the screen too. So, that's kind of fun. It, it gives the opponent a handicap. Um, okay, whoops, no, that that's fine. It's walking into a pin, but I don't lose anything. This is hanging, so we take it. Okay, free stuff. Can I persuade him to move the check thing? Uh, okay, that check thing's not so good anymore. Um, yeah! Got him! I knew he was going to play that. Up, so I'm forced to move my knight up. Uh, I should have done knight takes pawn while I still had the chance there. Uh, okay. It's all about those flashy moves. Uh, okay, got to protect the rook. Uh, go back here. And get the other rook into the game. Okay, I should know how to do this. Apparently, I, there we go. I found it! That took forever. Okay, I don't blame him. He's He's wanting a break from those. So we'll go play in the hourly bullet arena. And if I can make it up to 2100, which I probably can't, but we'll see. If I can make it there, just given how awake I am and given how my mouse is moving, it might be possible. But if I do make it, then we'll play in the elite bullet arena. If not, I'll have to spectate and commentate. Which honestly sounds like a whole lot more fun anyhow. Um, assuming people actually play in it. Uh, I don't know who's going to qualify and want to play. Uh, okay, hit the rook. 
Okay. Uh, totally walked into a pin there, so we'll get out of the pin. All right, I've got the bishop pair, which we all know constitutes a strategic advantage in this position. I should have taken this. Uh, I missed that rook c3 would actually be reasonable. Um, I mean, the bishop pair can intimidate the heck out of the opponent in this position, because all they can do is just wait for me to find the next threat. Uh, there we go. I've doubled his pawns. That was really all I wanted in this position. All my hopes and dreams were just to double his pawns. Okay, he actually did take, which is good for him. Um, so now I've got to find a way to undouble this mess, so we'll do that. Um, and then try to break through on the king's side. Oh, wait, he did h takes first. Why did he do that? That was completely unexpected. Uh, okay, this is not good. Uh, okay, we gotta go back. Gotta stop those pawns. He's gonna push c6. Nope. Move, king, move. Go, king, go. You can do it. Nice, we win. A much-deserved victory. Yeah, this purple thing that keeps showing up is my ad blocker. Um, if you want, I could take some time and configure it to not show up all the time. Um, yeah. It's detecting that the site uses Google Analytics to log traffic. Uh, okay. Yeah, I should take some time to make sure that doesn't show up. I should do that during the middle of a game, too, just to make things extra exciting. Oh, wait, I was hanging a pawn there for a fleeting instant. Um, and just go back, fink out of my queen. No big deal. Okay, so apparently this pawn's dead. There's no saving it. Oops, there we go. Okay, we go back here. Uh, let's kill that. Check. Rune ID 7 actually protects it. Um, so that's bad luck for me. Get three pawns for my knight, because I'm just bored of playing this position. So let's transform it into a different position. Okay, hit that, and if he plays rook f6, hit it again, and we take it, and push, and push, and push. Man, this, just keep pushing your pieces sort of chess is fun. Okay. I think I'm not winning this on time. Bummer. I should fix my ad blocker thing. So let me. Um, okay, we'll pause ghostry. Fine, whatever. Back to tournament.
So yeah, now Lee Chess knows, or at least Google is aware that I'm using Lee Chess because I paused my blocker. It shouldn't come as a big surprise to Google though. Move the queen. Okay, you saw my threats. Drop back. Um, fine, I'll take it. Take one of those. Free knight. Okay, we've got to stop these pawns. Um, they appear pretty difficult to stop, to be honest. Okay, this is the best way to stop the pawns. Because uh, it loses the least... Oh, it loses a rook. It loses the least pieces, but it loses um, an entire rook. Which is not so good. Okay, we'll go back. Hit the rook. Just keep trolling. Take this. Go back. Oh, he misses the mate in one. That's gotta hurt. I probably shouldn't have taken h7. Okay. I don't know, why don't you use Bing to find out whether Bing still gives prizes? I'm gonna wager they don't. Okay, well, that's a free pawn. You know my policy about pawn munching. Uh, take all the pawns. Okay, we'll take a piece. We'll take another piece. Sure, why not? Would you like a queen trade? Would you like it on a boat? Would you like it with a goat? Would you like it with a fox? Would you like it in a box? Do you want a queen trade? Ah, here we go. Free stuff, free stuff. Okay, go back. Offer the queen exchange another time. Uh, to break out of this. Oh, there goes my queen. Oh well. So much for the queen trade. Now I'm going to have to lose my knight just to make things dramatic. Or just get mated. You know, that works too. Okay. Okay, so I'm still at 2012 here. Uh, it seems like I'm probably not going to qualify for today's elite bullet thing. Um, so, whatever. Let's take one of those. Maybe by the end of the elite bullet tournament, I might qualify for it. And then just join for the fun of it. But no, I think my highest bullet rating was somewhere around 2000, or 2150. So, the idea that I could even sustain a 2100 level performance is kind of laughable. 
Okay. It's fine. We'll exchange off pieces this way. Bring out my rook. There we go. Bring out my other rook. And I place d5 and I have to retreat. Or he doesn't. Um, oops, there goes my knight. Just watch my attention span. Okay. Oh, there goes my queen. And my rook. I might not be winning that. Yeah, we're going to find out if they're popular at all. Um, obviously, I'm not going to qualify, which is funny. Uh, uh, it used to be that, at least in Blitz, you could find some players who would just hang pieces regularly. So I know normally I play the whole knight h5 thing kind of tired of doing that. So this game I'm not going to do that. Okay, take one of those. So this time um, we're trying a different tact. Okay, fine. Go win in exchange. See if I care. I completely missed the d6 was hanging though. So this has actually gone completely south. Um, oops, 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 that's not good. Okay, well this is going to be tricky to recover from. Wow! Okay, I forgot I'm playing an NM. He's going to see those Queen C1 moves. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, I can concede that. He got me good. He got me really good. I thought I had something there. Uh, yeah, people say I should concentrate more, but it's the weekend. So, I'm supposed to have some fun doing this. Like, but yeah, if I want to win this, if I want to get into that event, then I should actually try. Um... Uh, book move is knight g4, I think. Probably could have taken here. That would have been more fun. Hey, we're taking here. Let the fun commence. Um, okay, that looks scary. Um, I gotta develop. Here we go. Uh, well, this got exciting all of a sudden. Uh, okay. I should probably not get mated. I get mated anyhow. Oh well. Um, hmm. So, in the lobby, uh, I normally don't play these bullet tournaments. I normally played it in the lobby, I guess. Um, and people are more willing to hang pieces there somehow. But once somebody joins up one of these tournaments, it's like they don't stay in it if they keep hanging pieces. They don't do it my way. Oops. I forgot. I could just take the rook if he takes my knight. Uh, I'll take one of those. Check. Castle. There we go. See, I can find good moves. I just have to try. And get some gifts from my opponent. OK. 
Okay. Just wait for him to move the queen. Still waiting. Okay, he's not moving the queen. We'll just do this. Oops. Uh, we'll move it. Why hang something when you can move it and not hang it? Uh, okay. I'll take that and that. Uh, develop. Should have taken this. I know the end game's messy, but the one I've got here is even worse. So uh, should have taken G4. Should be trying, you know. Oh, he can't take his own pawn. What am I thinking with that whole Rook takes E5 thing? Okay. Just play a few moves to intimidate him here. Really just attempt to slow that advance. I can take here. Taking here is okay. Okay. He's threatening mate in one. Um, I guess that's forced. Oh. And it's mating too. Well done. Hey, I'm not going to get 68th, you know. We're going to get 73rd, or whatever we're in. Unless I can manage to win this in the next minute. That's probably not happening. Unless uh, my opponent gifts me the game, which he's not about to do, apparently. We settle down for a slow positional grind in the last minute of the tournament. Really got to try to... I don't know. I've got a opinion about... It'd be just kind of cool if um, the last game you're playing in an event counted. Um... So once the pieces are in motion, or at least once the pieces are set up on the board, um, the game gets counted regardless of how quickly it finishes. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Hey, look. Oh, he missed the tactic. Is he going to go back for it? No. He doesn't even... Ugh, come on. That would have helped our tournament standings, buddy. You ruined the whole tournament standings by not going for the perpetual. And now I'm going to have to beat you. Why don't I just take his pieces when he hangs them? Okay. Protect this even though it's already protected. Do a fork even though, I mean, we're down a million pieces, it doesn't matter. Try to make some semblance of some kind of threat. Oops, I hung my bishop. Oh well, good enough. Yep, so. 76th place, guys. And coming up is the Elite Bullet Arena. 19 players have joined. I have completely failed to qualify for it. I would need 100 some more points than where I'm at. So. Yeah. Um. And it looks like oh, this fellow, I think this fellow does do streaming on this site. Um, so maybe I should just let him uh, have some fun presenting this tournament. It's not like people can comment on the games anyway. Although I'm confused um, why he hasn't chosen to, like, I don't see him on the front page. So what's the deal? Is he not streaming? Yeah, I just drop pieces in spite on the last move. Although, given that's the last move, it doesn't really matter what you play. So yeah, if you hit the join button, it's like, nope, you can't join. You need more rating points. I think, though, my highest uh, rating... What, what did I ever get? 
Where did I ever get to? Yeah, my highest was 2188. But that was last year. And ratings are fungible. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're pretty well covered. Um, I don't know how well this how well covered this event's gonna be, but looks like there are three title players playing in it. So I'll leave that up to them. Um, so it's been fun. I'll come back with another game sometime. Uh, in the meantime, have a good weekend, and next time I'll see you guys around.